What we're trying to build is this sustainable green uh, medieval chateau. Having learnt about, first of all, woofers and then learnt about help exchange, we thought, well, that's the absolute idea for how to develop the place. It does vary slightly, but the typical arrangement is that you provide board and lodging um, to the volunteers, and for that you get 25 hours of work from them each week. People work a bit and they have fun and they meet each other and they learn things. A bit on the back of the trail, and then just push it into the position where you're there. So I've been here since February, which is quite a while, but um, yes, I've had a great time. So basically coordinating the work of the volunteers and um, making sure everything runs smoothly and everyone's happy. Oh. <laughs> well, mistakes are always made. <laughs> yeah, but you have to accommodate, you know, everyone has different skills and different things to bring to the table. So I like to find things that they enjoy and then people find skills they never knew they had and that's always really, really exciting. You meet different cultures, even today we've got Canadian, uh, French, English and Australian. Quite a, a large number of people come back again, um, so it feels a bit more like a family. We certainly have certain people who we call like the sisters or the daughters or the sons of brown toys. Because they're all going out and then they're all cooking the evening. I hope that when we can get it successful and operational over time, it will be um, an example to people of what's possible because if you can make a place that's an 11th century chateau with walls two metres thick, self-sustainable, then really any place has that potential. <laughs>